In this video, we will show you step by step how to create a custom block for displaying a banner slider using the CBB plugin. Before we start, make sure you have this plugin installed and activated on your WordPress site. You can install it from your WordPress site by searching for CBB on the plugins page. You can also learn more about it on the WordPress plugin directory and the promotion site. Once you have it installed and activated, let's begin creating the block. First, create a new block from scratch and give it a title. Insert an advanced group block as the wrapper block for a slide item. Choose a background image for this block. It will also be the main background of the slide. Insert a grid block to create the content for a slide. Let's publish the block and test the result. Next, we will adjust its settings to turn it into a repeater carousel block. The new block will use this content template as the child block. Enable the repeater parent block toggle and select the carousel layout. Input a title, a description, and a custom icon. Let's test the new repeater block. Only the repeater block will appear in the inserter now. The slide item block is now only available as the child block. Insert another slide item to create a test carousel. Adjust some other settings for the test carousel. Sometimes you want some slides to have the content on the left and others to have the content on the right. To achieve that, we will create a variation of the slide item block that has the text on the right. To create a variation for the slide item, click on the Create Block Variation menu item from its block toolbar. Give it a name and save it. Go to the Edit Variation screen to edit this variation. Insert a new empty grid item and move the content to the right.
Let's test this new variation. We have finished creating a simple banner slider block without coding in a few easy steps. You can make it even better yourself by changing the design of the slide item and adjusting the carousel settings using only the free version. In the next step, we will add some entrance animation effects to the inner elements of the slides using the pro version of CBB. To create entrance animation effects, we will use the Reveal Animations feature. You can apply it to any block, not just carousel blocks. You can choose from a list of over 60 different built-in effects. You need to either add a new block item or click the reset content button to get the latest content from the block. You can apply animated effects to any core block by wrapping it in an advanced group block. You can also customize the animation by adjusting duration, delay and timing function. Let's copy the slide content and apply animations to the variation. You can copy animations by using the copy paste feature. Similar to images, you can also use videos as backgrounds for your slides. Let's create a slide item that has a video as its background. By default, videos play only when their parent slide is active. You can also adjust the delay time for each carousel item. This will let the video finish playing before the carousel moves to the next slide. We have successfully created a banner slider block without using any block API or coding skills. This banner slider block has been added to the CBB block library. In the next part, we will show you how to import it from the block library and use it on your site. Go to the block library.
Click on the thumbnail to import it. Three items have been added to your site. The block itself, the item variation that has the text on the right, and a sample slider three item variation. You can use them as learning resources or use them on your site. Let's test the three item carousel variation. By using the block library, you don't have to create blocks from scratch, you can import ready made blocks and customize them to fit your design. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you liked it, Please give it a thumbs up, check out our other videos to learn more about CBB, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this in the future.